This is News You Can Use. State police report a woman in a wheelchair died Monday afternoon after the driver of a van she was in veered off the riverway into a tree at the intersection with Longwood Avenue. State police say the woman, 71 and from Somerville, was in her wheelchair inside the van at the time. Somerville police say that in wards 2 and 3, there have been multiple incidents of an unknown male breaking into homes between midnight and 6 a.m. by entering through unlocked first floor windows. Residents are urged to lock all windows and doors overnight. Service to Union Square on the Green Line will remain this summer. The Green Line to Union Square was to close, so work on the Squire Bridge on McGrath Highway could start over the subway tracks. The governor's office states that an inspection of the bridge notes it's safe to delay construction. Boston DSA members have scheduled a vote to expel Representative Mike Connolly from the organization. The Democratic Socialists argue that actions like support for Governor Maura Haley have tainted Connolly, the Democratic Socialist with the highest office in the state. Connolly represents parts of Somerville and Cambridge in the Massachusetts House. Environmental advocacy group Green and Open Somerville is holding a citywide weed polling event on Saturday, July 8th, 10 a.m. to noon. The group is looking for team captains, people who will help organize hyper-locally, identify overgrown sites, and recruit neighbors to join and coordinate supplies. A Somerville resident has painted a life-size cow sculpture as part of a public art installation and fundraiser for the 75th anniversary of Dana-Farber Cancer Institute's Jimmy Fund. Emily Bahargava's sculpture Alphonse Mucha will be on display at the Intercontinental Boston through September 4th. This is News You Can Use.